Hey, welcome, John Russo from Palm Beach Customs. A little shop tour. We got three CJ7s leaving. We have a 78, which is a white one right here. Then we have a 1980, which we call the root beer float. And then we have this 82, which is a six cylinder, but we'll talk about that in a second. But I'm gonna do a little walk around. This one here went out with um, hard doors and the hard top. And when we did the, um, and, and it's, this is a stock ride height, okay? Um, with, uh, so stock leaf springs, everything replaced, you know, our usual frame off, full, full package. And we did the, uh, I did the uh, hard top in uh, satin clear, so it's a little bit different sheen than the, than the actual body. You can't tell it while I'm videoing, but outside you can see it. And uh, <clears throat> this one has a custom interior and it has a spare tire in the back with the good heavy duty bumper. Um, preferably we don't like to bolt them into the sheet metal because it usually messes up the sheet metal on the corners because a lot of weight with these bigger tires. Um, and uh, all the Jeeps that we get in that are 30 or 40 years old um, always have cracks um, with, with Jeep bolted them up from the factory. So this, this Jeep here, I'm gonna show you the interior in a minute. Um, but uh, like I say, this one has the hard doors <clears throat> and these are a real pain in the butt to do these doors. There's 40 hours in, 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 in labor hours to do a set of doors. Can't, you can't get replacements. They're all, you have to use the uh, original doors. It's a couple days of prep and, and getting them ready for paint. Then you got to paint them, buff them, reassemble them. So they are a project. We love the, the, the half doors. The next Jeep I'm going to show you has the half doors. A lot easier, a lot more economical. And um, that's what we prefer. But this one here... There's nothing wrong with this Jeep, it's just a little extra time. Um, and these, these uh, full doors, uh, this Jeep's gonna be leaving also with a soft top in a box. So the customer, um, great guy by the name of Bob, he owns a USA company, building USA made products, so we love him. And he actually, I'll show you a little secret when I go in the interior on this, he made a, a custom uh, dash bezel on his, uh, water jet and on a piece of stainless it's really cool so this one's a um, special jeep to us nice guy all right now we're going over here to 1980 cj7 this is called the root beer float we like to nickname the things while we're working on them and this one here is for a really cool guy doug um he's in florida but he's out of maine and he uh he owned a bunch of McDonald's and he loves cars. And we built this as a stock um, V8 Jeep. This was an originally a V8 Jeep. It's got a little bit of a hyper motor in it, just like the one I just showed you. And um, this color is uh, almost looks like a factory Jeep color, but it's off a of BMW. This, this paint was uh, like 1300 a gallon. Um, and, uh, after you watch the video, there'll be some links. We're going to, uh, to a couple links on the, on the builds on these Jeeps and we'll show you the, uh, actual paint code. I can't pronounce it. It's I'll butcher it if I try, but it's, uh, it's, everyone loves this color. It's outside. Uh, it looks awesome. And, uh, so he went with the YJ half doors. So this is at 80. Jeep with, with 87 YJ half doors and then with the soft top, custom interior. I'll let you peek in there. I'm going to open these up and, and let you see in a minute. And this one has a V8 and he went with the winch package. This is stock ride height, which is pretty incredible. Normally I'm building these Jeeps. This is actually, I just thought of it. I got three Jeeps in here I'm going to show you that are all factory ride height. 
Normally I go two inch lift with 33 fives. These are zero lift with um, 31 10 fives on the tires. And uh, so this has a combination of black and chrome, a little bit of black mirrors and black uh, bumpers with the chrome side steps with the chrome wheels. It looks nice. And we'll show you that in a second. And then here's another Jeep that we're getting ready to. This is uh, um, another BMW. It's like the Anvil Gray, but it's, uh, it's a BMW Gray color. That body's a brand new USA made steel body. Um, and that's going um, on a nice guy out of uh, Miami uh, building one for him. This happens to be a chassis for a 62 Scout. We just totally mocked up. We're going into final assembly with it now. We got a 400 roller motor with a with, uh, little stroker balanced uh, with, the, with the short tube headers. And we've got the uh, uh, built turbo 400 with the uh, um, NP231 transfer case. And we're gonna make some, have John Woods make up some uh, uh, Woody's drive shafts. They're going to make up some uh, drive shafts for this, special made with all the uh, CV joints. And we mocked up, a, a, this is a Jeep, actually, gas tank. We're going to put a bigger one in for 20, 22 gallons. And uh, we have all our body mounts ready to go on that. So we're coming back over to, we're coming back over to these two Jeeps. The first one I started off with um, is uh, Bob's, yep. And uh, this one here has the same engine as uh, <clears throat> the Root Beer Float. So this is a, a 360 V8, uh, big talky motor. We've got AC, factory AC style. This is uh, made by Jeep Air. Um, right here in Ocala, Florida, which is friggin' awesome because we go right up the road and we get our AC systems and uh, standard si uh, single wire electronic distributor. Um, we go with the aluminum intake manifold by Eldenbrock with the quick fuel, uh, quick fuel carburetors, which are pre-run on every engine before they're installed. And we, we love these... Uh, Air filters, uh, a couple companies make them. This is an Eldenbrock, but where it breathes in on the top and the sides, because the whole key to getting a good running engine is having plenty of breathing on the intake and your exhaust. And there's your Patriot short tube headers. Um, and then we've got our power booster. So we got power brakes. Just like all our builds, stainless steel lines. Um, brand new painless wiring harnesses and uh, go down to the rims here we went with Goodyear's on this one we got the black satin on the rocker moldings solid doors all new door handles all new weather strippings custom panels redone this is kind of like an antique-ish brown tone in here on the seats and we match the center console to that you can see from there and here's his custom engine turn dash panel now he he, he water jetted that and it's pretty cool you can see the engine turn it really looks good it kind of brings that antique look into the interior with the with the seats and we put him a little surprise in there we mounted a clock in there for him these are those speed hut gauges that you just you can't you can't beat these things. Look at them; they light up nice, and they have a separate um, uh, button to adjust the uh, you know the the brightness. All right, and we also put LED lights in the bottom. You can see that way. You know it, it's a little bit better than the old Jeep style way of doing it. And then you've got the AC down here, right? And this one here has an upgraded Alpine deck and Alpine speakers. And that goes in, in the uh, top box here. So we got the Alpine deck. And uh, 
the speakers go in those in the in the in the uh, speaker wedges behind the seats. And here's a, a speak on the uh, blues tooth. And there's your uh, antenna and your GPS. So you're always you, you're, whatever the, the the speedo says, it'll be correct. And and this one here has also has the RPM down there. So you got one place for your eyeballs. You know, and then you got your oil and your voltmeter. So these speed hut gauges, you, they're just awesome. All right. And we got the B&M. This has got the Turbo 400, so we got the B&M shifter. We use a, um, an item called uh, Advanced Adapter, and the Advanced Adapter... Uh, adapts a turbo 400 to the uh dana 300 or the dana 20 transfer cases yeah so this baby came out nice got the hard top i didn't show you that on the inside we cleaned it and we did the, uh the white um that's how jeep did most of them white so when you turn your dome light on at night you can see what's going on um so the inside of the uh <coughs> It's, it's, it's a satin white, no clear. And then we got the, you know, the new black visors. So we went black, black, you know, on the visors, the steering wheel. It's a OEM style steering wheel. And we put the black piping on the seats. So that's that. And then we're going to show you this one here. This one here has the same spare tire holder. Okay, the heavy duty bumper. With the good, you know, you can tow off of it. It's heavy duty, bolted right to the frame. And both of these have the stainless steel dual exhaust. You know, that thick wall Canadian pipe. And uh, underneath it all, you know, everything is impeccable. All stainless bolts when we put everything together. All stainless steel. Um, so back to the, the uh, root beer float. So YJ half doors, see? And you got soft, soft uh, <clears throat> top window halves. So you can pull these off and just run with the, with, the, with the halves, you know, the half doors. And this we went with a custom interior. Really matches nice with the console. This has the speed hut gauges. You can see how nice they light up. And here's a little button to adjust them right here. And, and so you can just dim the gauges and, and, and the uh, instrument lights stay the same. But if, the, if they're too bright for you at night, you know, you can, or you can crank them up full bore. <clears throat> and uh, B&M shifter. There's the upholstery work. Put the uh, north, south, east, west star in there for the Marine. And... Uh, Back seat's done pretty much the same. This is a soft top, so it'll come right down easy. And it has a good um, heavy-duty frame on it. Let me shut the lights. And this has the, the same engine that the, uh, the white one has, a V8 360. A lot of times we're using the 304s, but we had a couple V8 360s we gave to these special guys because they were uh, um, they're a little more torque. Same deal on this one. Same air filter, same intake. Oh, it's got the AC. So this one came out nice. And um, show you that. And then we're gonna go over here. This one here is an 82 CJ7, soft top, full soft doors, original build. It has the original wheels and the original hubcaps. Those are actually the originals. We just shined them up. We painted, we blasted and painted the original wheels. And this has a six banger, six cylinder, 258, with the good radiator. And we put Howell fuel injection on it. All right, it's either we use either use a Howell fuel injection or a Weber carburetor. And they both, you know, the Weber carbs, we've been, been doing very good with them too. So this, this one here, and we went with the 
electronic distributor. So it's a uh, single wire electronic, got rid of the old Ford computer. And uh, this build here is the same color, it's the stock white. And he wanted the original front bumpers with the original fog lights. The, the, the only thing with, that's not brand new on this whole Jeep are the original fog lights and the original rims and, and center caps. Everything else is new, except for we restored the body. It only had one little rust spot. It's a very solid Louisiana body. This guy's name is Jay. He works for the military. He flies Cobra helicopters. And this has all the speed hut gauges, radio delete. And this has a stock a tan interior. We went with the best top. And this one's gonna be a nice ride. This runs nice too. So, <clears throat> that's a little walk in the park down here at Palm Beach Customs. And we're going to get back to, we've got a, the next on the chopping block. We have a, a Bronco build we're going to do up. It's all new sheet metal. The only thing that's not replaced, the original is a dash. We, we built the whole body right here. And we're getting ready to do that. And we're going to finish up this Scout. And we got another Jeep, and then we got a 69 Mustang build with the Roush motor. And that's, uh, that's weight, and that's going to be a fun build for a great guy. Here's a goodie, here's a box. He's getting a Tremec, and he's getting a Roush 347 stro Stroker, and that's in that box. And then we're going to do another 12 CJs before Santa comes this year. So it was good talking to you guys. John from Palm Beach Customs. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Have a great day.